Yesterday, we explored the abandoned ATV trail in the far corner of my rural neighborhood. We then discovered a secret shooting range complete with targets hanging from trees, barrels, and tin cans. I got spooked, and we hightailed it out of there. Since then, I've been wondering what else is hiding back there on that property. So today, we're setting out to explore. We're going to see what else is back there. All right, let's climb this hill. Now that we're at the top, let's bomb down to the other side where the trail is. Let's go exploring. There are a lot of broken glass shards and cacti in this area. As I felt glass and spent bullet casings crunching under my tires, I was glad I had a full tubeless setup. Well, we're here at the secret shooting range. The targets hanging from the trees are gone, and so are all the soda cans. That means someone was here just after I came through yesterday. One thing is for certain. This ATV trail isn't as abandoned as I thought it was. Glass everywhere. Bunch of old mattress springs. Wow. Now, there have been mountain lion sightings, bear sightings, and bobcat sightings in this neighborhood. Just last winter, there was a whole bobcat family walking up my main jump line. I'm going to stay out of the brush and hope I don't encounter any wild animals. Okay, I'm going to get out of this wooded valley before I ac get accidentally get shot or eaten by mountain lions. Whew, all right. Now that we're back out into the open and on higher ground, I feel much better about the whole bobcat slash mountain lion slash bear thing. Also, also about being accidentally mistaken for a shooting target. Hmm, I wonder exactly where I am. I can see our barn, but what house is that over there? Is that Scott Como's? Or is that the other house I can see from our barn? Who owns that place? I really don't know whose land I'm trespassing on anymore. I do know that I own full view of the house, which means they can see me just by glancing out their living room window. I better leave now before I am discovered. It's over here. Okay. While we're on the topic of trespassing, I always wanted to see what this treehouse was like when I was little, but I never really explored it. Well, it 
has a nice ladder leading up to it, and the house itself looks like it's been here a long time, judging by how the tree has grown over the metal strips anchored into it. That's pretty cool. Speaking of the house, it's kind of small. Upon closer inspection, it turns out this is not a tree house at all, but more of a large bird house or something. Like Maybe it's an old unused chicken coop? Then again, I'm not sure why anyone would put a chicken coop up in a tree. There's a lot of strange things in this neighborhood. Nice. Very cool. Wow, look at the size of this roller. They are still in the process of resurfacing the lower portion of the road and recycled asphalt. Wow. I should probably get home now. Oh no, a cop and I'm going 50 miles an hour above the speed limit. Luckily, he seemed pretty mellow and barely looked up from his phone. Phew. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.